You listen to the DDO, call out the final 10 seconds. A touche de DDO, attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top. Allumage bouquin. Allumage EAP, décollage. Well, the cryogenic arm swung open right on time, triggering the ignition sequence. Did you count to seven? At 18.05 local, right on time, Ariane 5 began her mission, lifting off perfectly, thundering off the ground here in French Guiana, beginning mission number six for this year, carrying UTELSAT 21B and Star 1 C3. She's rising into the night sky here above French Guiana. Fine shots, as always, beautifully impressive for the people on the observation sites and on the balconies here and around the base. Right now, Ariane weighs 774 tons, 774 tons at liftoff. She's burning five tons of fuel every second, two and a half tons in each booster. Behind me, you can hear the DDO saying everything is all right. The main stage is also at the same time burning another 300 kilos of fuel per second. Ariane now following the program in the onboard computer, which is in the vehicle equipment bay in the second stage, which gives all the orders, including stage separations, which we'll soon begin to see. We're in the first of four flight phases. The first three are powered. The last is not. We'll describe each in turn and in detail, so you can follow Arian as she heads east across the Atlantic, where she'll separate the satellites after having passed over Africa. The flight phases, the first of flight phase now, the main engine and the boosters. The boosters are going to burn another 10 seconds, roughly, and you'll see them flame out on the screen. Then the main engine burns alone. Then the upper stage burns alone. That looks like the flame out of the boosters. And the DDO has called out the confirmation of that. You can see the two boosters on the upper part of the screen and the, yes, the orange uh, flames of the two boosters. And the white flame is the main engine, the composite, of Ariane continuing to burn. The boosters will fall 500 kilometers from shore in a protected area. French Guiana in part chosen as a base for its opening on the water, launching, posing no threat to local population. On the left of your screen, you see the cursor climbing up uh, the line there. There are actually two lines. One is the real-time trajectory. The other is the optimal trajectory. And as long as one is on, uh, so superimposed on the other, we're right where we should be. Below that, two lines, A and V. A is altitude. We're over 100 kilometers. V is velocity. Our speed now approaching 230 kilometers per second. We need roughly around 9 kilometers per second to uh, inject the satellites, so keep your eyes on the numbers there. Both the first and second stages using cryogenic propellant. Both have single engines. We're coming up on fairing jet jettison now. The DDO has called out confirmation of that. It's in two halves. There's one half that's out of uh, camera range.